Hello, friends of Golf Course Quality Fertilizer. Well, there are some people that had a situation this year with that real dry period during uh, the, about the middle of May all the way through the beginning of June. And it was like three or four weeks where we were super dry. Even people with irrigation systems were struggling. And some people that didn't have irrigation systems, it got so dry that they ended up with a scenario like this where not all of it came back from dormancy. And so uh, they have a little bit of work to do this fall in order to recover their turf. There's a couple things you can do. You can slit seed an area like this. You're gonna mow it kind of short. You're gonna wait till you get into September when weather is cooler because you don't have an irrigation system. Mow it a little shorter than normal and bring a slit seeder through here and slit seed the lawn. And that'll help that come in uh, and fill in these gap spots. You can do it by hand. Uh, just by taking a rake and kind of just breaking it up and loosening things up and then coming through spreading seed with a hand spread or with a spreader or a hand spreader whatever you need to do uh, and then you could actually come back again and this will be the most important part because you can't throw seed on top please stop throwing seed just on top of turf you got to work it down into the at least the canopy down where it's going to get some seed to soil contact so after you spread that seed You'll have to come through and rake it in about three or four different directions. And you just drag it behind you. It's not like you gotta be out here working your shoulders to death. You're just gonna kinda drag it behind you, right? And just get that seed work down into that area. So that'll take a lot of work, but it'll cost less money than a slit seeder that you have to rent and get it there and get it back and all this stuff. Uh, but a slit seeder is gonna have a little bit better action on getting that seed down into soil because it'll cut down into that. And if you go two or three directions with a slit seeder, don't just go one direction or you have like cornrows. That drives me crazy. But when you go two or three directions, it'll come up real nice and then you'll be back to square one. One thing you do have to think about too, and we're gonna turn around here and take a look at this. You're gonna have a weed explosion, right? <laughs> That's unfortunate. But whenever soil gets exposed and seeds can reside in the soil, for up to 40 years it's always weeds are always tougher than grass unfortunately they can handle drought and they'll just start to explode this one right here is called red sorrow and i despise this one this is just about as hard as violets to kill out of the lawn you think it's hard to kill white clover you try to ki kill red sorrow uh, so this is not going to be fun we're going to have to deal with this later because we need to get grass to start to grow and then next spring, we'll probably have to start tackling the weeds because we don't want to spray that young grass uh, with any herbicides uh, because it'll hurt the young grass. And also, if we decided we were going to spray the weeds first and then seed, we have to wait three more weeks to seed. And so then we're starting to push into late part of September. It might be too far. So it's a little tricky. You have to be careful on recovering a situation like this. Uh, but it is recoverable. And matter of fact, I would actually prefer you to come out as soon as you see this happen uh, and take a rake and kind of just loosen things up. You'd be surprised how much stuff would come back by itself just by loosening things up with no seed at all, right? And so if that would have been done a little earlier, we might have a little less situation because I can see some grass already right here in some open spots, you know, they're coming back as well. So if you get a real early rake on this laying down turf, it'll get to recover faster as well. So these are little things to help some of you guys that are in this situation uh, on how to get this thing recovered. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.